Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Brittany and I take a look at the tools and systems marketed to photographers and creative small business owners. I find interesting tech, dig into it a little bit, and report back with what I find. If that sounds like your kind of thing, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Today, I'm challenging myself to see how quickly I can launch a portfolio site using one of PixieSet's new portfolio templates. PixieSet is what I'll call the all inclusive resort of photography tools. There's booking, gallery, store, and website all in one place. I've explored their full-scale website templates and builder before and really liked it, but this time I'm focusing on something more specific, creating a clean image-led portfolio site using one of their templates. I'll be going from what is essentially a blank slate as far as templates are concerned to launch. And I won't be skipping any of the hard parts, like figuring out which images to include or what to say if and when the template wants words. I'll be thinking of the content for the portfolio on the fly, so that'll probably be my biggest slowdown. Everything that I'll be going over today is my own experience with the Pixie Set Site Builder. If you're curious about the portfolio templates, I totally encourage you to try them out for yourself. I use Pixie Set's free tier for all my experiments, and it's the perfect low stress way to explore and play around until you're ready to make a commitment. If you decide to try out the Pixie Set workflow, let me know how it goes in the comments. Alrighty, so I'm someone who falls into a lot of traps when it comes to making choices, so to make sure I'm not getting hung up on details and to continuously keep things moving, I created a narrative that I'm a photographer looking to submit my portfolio of work to a local gallery. I currently have nothing set up and the deadline for submitting my site link is tomorrow. There is nothing quite like a fake looming deadline to really make us feel the need for speed. The first First thing I needed to do was pick my images. I ended up curating 15 that felt cohesive and captured the vibe I was going for with this site. That took me about two and a half hours, which might sound like a lot, but these weren't my usual portrait style images. I had to dig through my archives, do some quick edits, and organize everything into a set that made a little bit of sense together. So yeah, it was a process. And even if you've already got a folder of favorites ready to go, I still think image selection is the step that trips most people up. It sounds easy, but choosing the right images to represent your work, especially in a pared down format like a portfolio, takes time. And honestly, it should. These images are doing a lot of the talking for us. With my images picked, my next step is to select a template, which at the moment there are 12 to choose from, and they cover everything from minimal and clean to bold and editorial. I decided to go with Tofino because it was kind of the oddball in the lineup. It still leans into a grid structure for the images, but it doesn't feel like one. The sizing and spacing are more fluid, and I really liked that. A lot of the images I picked all share this nature meets city vibe, but they're still pretty different in tone, texture, and subject. So giving them a layout that feels breathable and a little unexpected just made sense to me. Plus, Tofino holds up beautifully on mobile. The offbeat structure still looks intentional and clean, which really sealed the deal for me. The homepage of this template does include a text block that we can use to talk about this featured collection of images. And while I could have just removed it or swapped it out using the page editor, I figured it was an opportunity to show off how not great I am at talking about my photos. One of the things that actually drew me to this template was that it doesn't include a dedicated about page by default. It does feature space for a little blurb on the contact page, but the template as a whole is compact and image focused, which was very much in line with what I wanted for a portfolio. Of course, if we ever wanted to build out this site to feature any extra pages or content, the builder totally supports that kind of growth. The only hiccup I accidentally ran into was trying to rearrange the site pages. I poked around the settings, even checked out Pixie Set's help guide, and I still couldn't figure out how to change the navigation page order. If that feature is in there, it is not easy to find. 
I'd love to see them add a simple drag and drop option to the site menu to make that a little smoother on the user experience. Aside from that though, everything else came together surprisingly smoothly. From template picking to a published ready site, it took me 55 minutes and 40 seconds. If I add my image curation to that total, the whole process took three hours, 25 minutes and 40 seconds. There are still a few SEO tweaks I want to make, but that's something I can easily handle post-publish. What surprised me most is how simple the actual building process was. These portfolio templates combined with Pixie Set's site builder made everything feel really approachable. I mean, choosing the images took more time than putting the site together. And I think that's where the real challenge of a portfolio site lives. Not in the layout or structure, but in the image selection. When we're building a portfolio, we're not just uploading our latest session or event. We're trying to communicate something. We're making choices about tone, mood, voice, all that without using many words. It's more compact and leads with the work. And if you're still figuring things out or just don't want to stress over every detail, it's a really solid way to start sharing what you've created. You can always build more later, but sometimes getting your work out there now is what matters most. With full-scale photography websites, the complexity shows up in different ways. There's more structure and more text-based decisions surrounding things like services, booking flow, testimonials, SEO, the whole thing. It puts the spotlight on building connection through both imagery and language. And if you're busy or easily overwhelmed, getting to the launch point on a site like that can take months or longer. I keep being impressed by how Pixie Set handles their photography website tools. And now that they're offering both full scale templates and portfolio specific ones, they're clearly thinking about the different types of photographers out there. And I'm really excited to see where they take this next. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are using Pixie Set for your portfolio site, let me know how your experience was building and launching your site. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that little bell so that you know whenever I release something new. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.